okay, now you have a project, right? So where do you put the S visual node? Where do you do the VT, uh, IV simulation? Which one? Uh, these three. This is IV simulation, right? So you need to add a S visual after it, right? Yes. Can you add a visual icon? Um, I didn't hear, so it's this one. Oh, you did here. Okay, now can you open the master file? This one? Yes. So you still have, or, or it is loading. You still don't have the master file, correct? You need to yeah. add the mask file, master file to this oh, S video. Okay, um, so it's, it should be this one. I can copy it. Uh, okay, you can copy and paste. This is one um, way. Yes. Um, you just control A and then control C. It's not working. <laughs> Okay, I want to tell you, okay, because this is not the, uh, this is VIM. Then you use another method. Can you go to SWB? Right click the S visual node. Properties. Now go to input files. Click on uh, import. Right, we, no, don't, don't click this. Uh, we want to import a command and then where is your file? The file you uh, change, yeah, show me. Yes, it should be, uh, teach plot, it should be this one, whoops. You need to give the full name. Okay. No. Okay, now you need to select which one to input, right? You want to click on the master, the command, right? There are many master file, you need to click uh, no, uh, master file, under the master file column. Okay. Yeah, and then import. Then you, ah, okay. you, you yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, and then just say, okay. Now you can open it again. Okay, just reload. Okay, so now you have everything. Now mm -hmm. the problem is that you hard code it as 2N213, right? But you, if you have different splits, you want to have different node number. So now what you want to is go to uh, here, go to here okay, on the top right. Oh, okay. Okay and then say find and replace, right? And then just type N213. Okay. And Sorry. replace with this. Yeah, and one sec. Okay, sorry, I'm back. N213 and... Replace with N at previous Minus one. The reason, uh, the re actually, uh, the, actually, I don't like that you have two S device, right? And then you follow by S ratio. Because now the S ratio, I need to go to here and then here. Yes. Right? So uh, this is previous. This is previous. And then minus one is this one. Okay. Right. So uh, actually, don't use previous. Can you use a note? and minus two. Is there a straight, the this, this symbol here? Yeah, minus two. Add, put add, right? And then replace all. Replace all, oh, okay. Yeah, and then, okay. So do I need to do for the other nodes? This one? No, you replace everything already. Oh, you still have other no Okay, yeah, so this is not a good, oh, okay. Now, then this is the problem. You try to plot everything on the same graph, but we don't need that. Only plot one graph. Okay. Right? Okay. Don't plot all of them. Because for each row is going to extract the VT for you. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, so you don't want to do that, right? So maybe you can redo it. Why don't you redo it now? It should be very easy by using, uh, just using the GUI. 
Right, okay. Right, so you plot it, plot a new graph from scratch, right? And then you probe it again, right? Not this one, this one, yeah. Change to Y. Okay, maybe you don't know about this. This is what, yeah, click on this, that is okay. This is one way. Another way is just click on the curve. Okay. Here, you see this? This one, you can choose X or Y. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then you just click on the graph. No, now you just, no, may change it to Y, to X, to Y. Right. And co come back to the graph. Don't, don't do it now. No. Yeah. And just click on that. Right. Then you give you the scene test. Yes. Okay. And you don't need this number. Now you save it. Right, save it. Just overwrite this then. Doesn't matter, yes. Yeah, and then now you go back to the master file to edit. Um, so this one, yeah, this one was the one we just discussed, right? And you edit the input file. Yeah, you can import first. That's also okay. Yeah, import the newest one. Okay. Now, edit it. Edit the master file. It is very simple, right? Now, can you do the same thing? Replace the N203. This time you replace by this and at previous at. So you're going to, when you see previous, it, it's not going to run until you finish the SDY simulation. Otherwise, it's going to run. I replace all of them. Right, so you see that this one also changed accordingly. Right. So now, you know the syntax, it gives you the syntax already, right? So you yes. want to set this to a variable. For example, set VTH and then the whole thing, pro. Can you do that? Just copy a sentence. Um, sorry, I, I write it here. Yeah, just copy the whole thing. Yeah, or write it here. Let's say put 0 0.1. If your goal is 0 0.1, you put 0 0.1. Right. I think, oh, okay. I should delete this X one first. It won't hurt you. Yeah, you can delete it, but it won't hurt. It's just probing. Okay, I just changed this one. Yeah, but it's a good practice to de delete. Okay. And change to this. Um. Okay. So the whole thing, the whole thing, because this whole thing is a so-called TCL command, take code command. Yes. So you need to put it in a bracket. Okay, so. And then the return value will go to VTH. Yes. Space. You need a space. Okay, okay good. Then the, v, the VTH will be stored there. But then we want to Print it to SWB. You will type put dollar, uh, no, put double quotes, DOE colon VTH space dollar VTH. So if you still remember the training you got in assignment one, this is how you put the variable. Uh, try not to have space here, it might not work. Right, so when SWBCDOE, this one is going to print something in the log file. When SWBCDOE in the log file, it know that it's going to extract this value and make this a variable in SWB. Okay, let's see how it works, right? Save it and run it. Just run one of them. 
or uh, and before that, I would like you to do something. Don't do it. Right click the S visual again. Look at properties. Change this to batch. Otherwise, it's going to pop up a window. Batch, then you will just run as a script. Yes. Now try to run it. Okay, that's error. We did something wrong. Double click the note. In very puts, or oh, maybe a is it puts? Maybe P U T S. I forgot. Maybe puts for take call command P U T S actually. So let's edit the file one more time. Yeah, it's S. Okay, save it and run it again. Oh, okay. Uh, do you see that? Uh, you make it larger. Okay, negative file, right? Can you double click 242 one more time? This is what you did. You say put something, right? So it is safe in this output file. SWB read all the output file. And because SWB see DOE, then it create a new variable called VTH. And for this row, it assign this number to it. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, good. Now. Mm -hmm. What if, now try to run other nodes at the same time. These two? Yeah. Run the same time? Yeah. You see that it will extract the VTH accordingly. Yes. Okay. Now, what if I don't want to change the current level every time? Then you add a new variable, okay? The click here, right click, add parameter values. Let's just call it IVTH, for example. Right, the I for VTH. Give a value, for example, zero point, I mean, zero point one, right? That's what you're doing, zero point one. And then say, okay, right? It still has no effect. But now you need to edit the master file. So here, instead of 0 0.1, what do you put? Do you remember? Uh, that's uh, very good. Variable I E. Yes. Yes. Save it. Now then, for example, right, you can add a new variable. For example, you want to see the VTH for also 0 0.01. Then you just add a new value to it. Right now, if you run all of them, all these six together, you can close it now you see it's pretty right so you, it, it is vth will reduce right because we go to more negative right this one will fail because you don't have a value that is 0 0.01 yes okay good right so that's what i mean okay okay um